Hi, welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm going to give you examples for how to make a self-study plan. Now, if you consider long term, like studying the, for the rest of the year, then it's a little different story. For example, in step one, you have to really, really be realistic about the time you are going to spend studying. Don't say you're going to study three hours every day, six days a week, if you have a full-time job and kids at home, because it's not very likely. But try to really commit to the time you say that you're going to study, like, I don't know, two hours, three times a week, for example, or one hour, four days, or the time that you have, that you're going to study. Uh, then you can also consider changing the amount of time per month. For example, maybe this month you have more time, but the following months you're gonna be in your usual routine and the time you spend studying is going to decrease. And I don't know, maybe in July you have a vacation and you're not going to study that month, for instance. So consider that for every month and don't consider December because usually it's a very busy month and you can also use it for finishing what you didn't during the year or to add in something extra. You sum up all of that and maybe you have, I don't know, 150 hours in a year, for instance. And with that, you go and look for the material you're going to use. Let's consider that your specific need in this case might be TOEFL, for example and you want to learn about the exam, but you know that you have to improve your English too, and maybe a specific area of your English, like grammar or reading, or grammar and reading. So you can look for a course. I recommend a needy X course for TOEFL. It's not very long. I think it's 20 to 40 hours maximum that you will spend learning about the exam. So you know there that you have 40 hours, so you have 110 more hours to fill with other activities. Like for example, reading. You want to improve your reading. Maybe it's not a book what you need, maybe a page like Read Theory that I totally recommend. And also, if you want to study grammar, you can go to the page uh, English hyphen, hyphen, or whatever it's pronounced, and practice your, your grammar there or with any other material that, that you have, like for example, the book Grammar in Use. That's your intensive learning material. For extensive learning, that is step three, if, for example, you're preparing for TOEFL, you should also consider material that's going to entertain you, but that is going to help you for the exam too. For example, if you're gonna watch movies, you might want to choose movies that are on an academic setting or that happen on campus, because many TOEFL questions are related to that. Or if you want to read, just for fun, try to read something um, about science or about geology or something that you know that you're not very familiar with, but you know that is going to be, that is a common topic for TOEFL. Same with music. Maybe you want to stay away from hip hop a little while because their English is not the best but maybe you could go to some oldies, which usually have a better grammar and diction. And then you go and make your schedule. In your schedule, you decide uh, how you're going to uh, work on the material. Maybe you want to study on the TOEFL course uh, 100% for until you finish it, or maybe you want to spend some time with the course while uh, practicing your reading, for example, or while practicing your grammar. So you put that on your schedule. Also, you can put in the list of the extensive material so you see um, what you're doing and what you're not and what maybe you should focus on uh, not to lose uh, one aspect. No? Like, for example, if you are reading, reading and reading, maybe you want to switch to listening to music for a while because you want to develop that as well. If you need any help, and maybe you need a suggestion for what study material to use, don't hesitate to write it in the comments and I'll reply gladly. Stay home, stay safe, uh, wash your hands, and I hope to see you soon.